Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to the first ever Daily Advice. I recorded a few of these earlier, but I wasn't able to get a week's worth. I probably won't get, be able to do a week's worth. So this is the not-so-daily Daily Advice. Daily Advice in quotation marks. But hopefully, eventually, I'll get this out in daily format. I was working a lot on this possibility of a charity event, so stay tuned. The, stay tuned for that. And now on to the advice for today. So this is made in this high up mountains seeming world thanks to the new update. Uh, in mountaintops with this attempt to make a combination lock drawbridge. Sadly, this is not the second. This is not the first version. The first version was a catastrophe as so is this. A lot of these winches don't work out, which I f I'm finding they don't work out that nicely. This one, I believe this one works, but I don't want to break this world. It's so nice to me right now. So what I do have for you today is a bunch of stationary doors, three of which, but this first one has two separate locking mechanisms. First off here, we have this rotational locking mechanism. There we go, hit T to unwind, and then shift T to lock. So it's positioned this far away so that when whoever is trying to get through your door, they can't actually reach it. I'll show you that later. But now the now this system has actually decided to work. Unlock you if you would like to work. Thank you. So undo this locking mechanism. This is actually kind of janky. It falls down sometimes. Let's see if I can get it. Auto lock. Thank you. Did I break it? No, I didn't break it. Yay. Always nice days when that doesn't happen. Ooh. Oh, I have flying mode on. <sighs> days like today. So, you can... See, this door just works too well. Just flat out too well. Now, let's open you up. Open you up. Thank you. <sighs> You're fired! I should probably just... Yep, you're fired. Thank you. You you preemptively fired your own self. There we go. There we <sighs> People these days can never find good work. There we go. So now the door's opened and you can pass through. Ideally, this uh, this type of catch block, the locking catch block, uh, tongue twisters today. That's a tongue twister in itself. Uh, yeah, lock clap. Lock clap catch clutch block i really wish they would have had a border around those words then you could actually read it instead of this weird red fonts what were they thinking so now on to the next one which i guess i could call it the cutting board the cutting board because if you were to release this on your friends uh it it, it just slipped from my hands and and you died sadly yeah, i won't release it but if you were to release this it would come smashing in their face such as that not the first time I've had to repair this. Let's delete that. So what I've done here for a stopping mechanism because this goes out half going out a half block in top and laterally. I just made another locking mechanism right there. Put a stub in the door so that it won't go all the way up. And then I can actually use gravity to drop it back down. So let's see how it works. Whee! Shink. And more of you fell off. Thanks for that. And these are the weight blocks. So I can't make them larger weight blocks. That'd be nice. I hate how everyone just goes the whole space engineer's way of building things and just uses the one Y blocks. They have more than that and it makes it a whole lot stabler. So let's wind this up and get to the third and last one before I run out of time. So this was actually, I don't know, inspired I'd say from a uh, hidden blocks video. Now I'm forgetting your name. Uh, somebody on YouTube put out a video on the hidden blocks where you use a control shift C. And now what I found, uh, control shift, I'll do the control shift X actually only takes off whether it's a small ship or a large ship from it. So control shift X and there it's gone. So I guess another one of the hidden secrets to medieval engineers. So this is a sliding door. Usually the one that they were saying would work would be a, uh, 
implanted one where it's just these bottom ones but for increased stability since this is a door that an attacker would probably be running at with a battering ram i added these ones on top and yes you can actually put these two blocks these tube timber inside of these even when they're going around something they're going through something there we go so if i winch this up it hits that top board and we can actually pass through so this is pretty simple uh using a new type of archway doorway for that just for the placeholder this would ideally work pretty nicely except for the setup is kind of hard you need to make sure it's exactly the right size i had to redo that three or four times but once you get it, it's quite rewarding, as most things are in this game. So that's about it for the daily advice for today and maybe for a while. I hope to get a stream of these out shortly. But as for now, I'll see you in the next one.